What do you know about mountain goat hunting? Um, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the trailhead about 3.30, got our stuff together and started hiking and the first, I'd say mile and a half was probably more of a climb than I expected it to be. Good pull. It was a pretty good pull. And then uh, I think we're probably about halfway into where we want to be, which is about, it might be what, four and a half miles? Yeah. It looks like it might be closer to nine. Uh, we're gonna stay the night tonight, just kind of baby out and then get up early in the morning and throw our stuff in the pack and head up into goat country and hopefully find a big billy. 17 years I've been applying for the tag, so probably the only goat tag I'll ever have in my life. Is Branson all tucked in? Oh yeah. Is he really? Kind of my dream when I started applying for mountain goat tag was to get a chance to bow hunt. It looks like next Friday and definitely Saturday we might be looking at some serious cold temperatures and maybe some snow. So if we get to that point we might think about bringing out the gun. I'm not like 100% that's snow. Those bottom two? Yeah. I think they're shiny rocks. Okay. I think it's catching the light just right. You've never seen that go? Uh -uh. Ever? Uh -uh. Oh, that's awesome. Once we got up in there and I lined it out and I looked at my GPS back to the truck, we were over 13 miles as the crow flies. So, yeah, at all the twists and turns, I mean, we were a significant distance into that country. Yeah, looks like five of them. The bad news is it looks like they're going that way. What is that, like two miles? <laughs> a mile and a half? It's a long ways. They look fluffy. That top one right there looks like a big goat. Oh, the very top one? Yep. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And I think so far we've seen five, six, seven goats, I think. One that looks like a really nice billy, but they're a long ways away. Trying to figure out if we got enough time to go up there and make a play today or if we're gonna have to try to put it off till tomorrow. Everything up here is, uh, <laughs> you gotta speak in day trips rather than hours. <laughs> That's like a Tuesday trip up there. <laughs> They all head up in the evening, is that like a thing? If it is, I'll just go up there and bib whack out and hang out until one walks by. Hello, goat. Nice to see you. <laughs> Sound like Bruce. <laughs> Bruce who? Fish tail or something. Who? Bruce. Who's Where he's like, fish are friends, not food. <laughs> Come on, you know that movie. I don't. I mean, he's got a nice beard. He's got some nice shaps going on. He's kind of, he's a hipster goat. So they say that a goat's ear is about six inches long. So when you're looking at a billy, you figure if his ear is six inches, if he's got another, you know, three inches, he's a nine inch goat, maybe four, he's a 10, which would be a super goat. And then the other thing that you take into account is the circumference of the base of their horns. Typically if you've got, if it's as big as round as their eye or if it looks like it's like almost touching the two bases, then that's a big based billy. All the other goats that we saw today went over the ridge. So plan for tonight is just to eat some food, get some good sleep, probably get like 14 hours of sleep tonight. Um, it's gonna be cold. Hopefully we can find some goats tomorrow on the back side of this. Statistically speaking, I think we have about two miles to go and maybe 1300 foot elevation gain. Um, it's steep and super rocky. I think we're gonna kill one tomorrow, if you want my honest opinion. 
Every once in a while I just get a vibe, might got a vibe. We have zero chance of precip all the way through Thursday. You got a 30% chance at 1 p.m. 50% chance of snow by 7 p.m. You know how warm it's supposed to be tomorrow? Oh. 52. Today. You got the vibe. You, you, you could tell. 100%. You could tell that one's gonna die. One's today. dying today. 100%. Logistically, it just yeah. You got to. up about 1600 feet got to the top and we looked down off on the other side about probably another 1600 feet and there's the goats so uh yeah we'll see how this goes it's gonna be 1200 yards The way they climb though, he could be up here in an hour. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm kind of thinking. I don't know, I think he's going to come up somewhere. It's kind of hard to believe you're sitting right here. When you look look out across the landscape, mm -hmm. you're like, am I really? It's just crazy. This is humongous country. Initially, uh, when I looked at it, I thought it might be possible uh, when you pull out your your GPS and you start looking at, at where it was in relation to you and the amount of uh, elevation that you would have to lose and then once again gain with a full pack. It just didn't seem feasible. I think we're like 13,200 feet and we probably only had maybe another two or 300 feet up to the highest peak that I could see. It's definitely more high elevation terrain than I'm used to. got up there uh, and seeing the type of terrain that those goats were on I just didn't think 
that it was feasible uh, with a bow. I just made the decision um, that if it was going to happen, it was going to happen with a rifle. sat there from about a thousand yards with a spotting scope for probably close to two and a half, three hours uh, looking at the different goats, you know, looking at the, the signs for Nanny versus a Billy. And we all agreed uh, that the one had uh, a more gentle sweep to the horns. It just looked like a much bigger goat than all the goats. Uh, when they finally fed out onto that saddle, uh, back to the left, to the north, probably a 150 foot cliff that then fell probably another thousand feet. And then off the uh, south side, I uh, had about a 200 yard portion of real estate before, uh, if it went over that side, it would have probably rolled another thousand feet. I knew I had to make a, a lethal shot that anchored the animal. Ultimately, that was my decision to, to make a shot, and you know I thought it was a nice billy, and it turned out to be a, an old nanny. I figured a, a seven-year-old nanny. You'll probably have people say, oh, I could tell the difference. Well, I mean, when you look at 14 goats in a day, and you think, you know, probably none of them were a billy, it's awful tough to say, uh, you know, the difference between a billy and a nanny when, when you probably didn't even see a billy. Nonetheless, I'm still happy with the goat that I shot. It was just uh, awful tough to tell. 17 years I'd thought about uh, going on a goat hunt and I think initially when I wanted to hunt mountain goats it was so much about the animal uh, and I think you know 17 years later and then on the back side of this hunt uh, when I think about it the things that I appreciated about this hunt uh, wasn't necessarily the animal although it's you know it is a neat animal and it's a cool trophy to have uh, the thing that I look back on and that I value the most is just the uh, the experience as a whole the terrain. I mean, the opportunity to hunt anything at, you know, over 13,000 foot is such a, you know, it's a rarity. I mean, how many people even get to experience elevations like that? It's the country, it's the elevation, it's the, uh, the challenge. I mean, it's, it's everything that went into that. What'd you think of mountain goat hunting? That's a, it was uh, it was good, it was fun, but I don't know if I ever want to do it again. <laughs> They're a pretty crazy animal, huh? Just where wild. They, where they live? Yeah, just, I can't even wrap my head around it. <laughs> 